What is going on YouTube? Right here I have the Sony ZV-E10 on deck. And I also decided to pick up a, an accessory. This is a small rig. I think small rig, this is a small rig full cage. I think uh, small rig is killing it uh, with their products for these cameras. And the quality on these things are just outstanding. Uh, you've got a lot of etched in stuff on here. You've got uh, a little indicator right here that lines up uh, with your sensor. Uh, you've got on the bottom, where is that on here? You've got uh, in, it engraved or etched right here, designed for uh, ZV-E10. Those, those little things are nice. Uh, let's talk about the uh, build quality on this. This is made out of uh, an aluminum alloy stainless steel. Th this is nice. You've got a, a little grip area right here that so when you put your mount your camera in here, it'll uh, this will help. This little rubber piece right here will help uh, grip your camera. Uh, you've got a, uh, a little Phillips style uh, driver right here that comes with it. And this right here is magnetic. So you put that in there. That's not just going to fall out of there. That's magnetic. That, that's that's nice right here. You've got uh, some vertical mounting points, three on each side, three on this side and three on this side right here. You've got a cold shoe right up top here. Uh, just very nice Arca Swiss plate at the bottom here. And you've got five mounting points down here. Uh, just ve very nice. You've got a, a cutout uh, at the bottom right here. That's if you uh, want to monitor the sound uh, from the ZV-E10. Uh, of course, the ZV-E10 ZV does have a uh, headphone jack, so you can uh, monitor your sound, but that's what that little, this, this, it also has a little hole right here if you want to monitor the uh, sound that comes out of this, uh, this little speaker right there. That's the speaker right there. So if you want to hear the sound out of that, out of that speaker but um let me go ahead and uh install this now if you have a lens on here this right here is the kit lens the sony kit lens this is the 16 to 50 uh pretty compact lens um let's go ahead and install install this just take that out of there now oh well let me show this right here you just basically that's this right here Right here, when you screw that in there, that screw, let me take this out of there. Yeah, there we go. You just basically line that screw up right there. Line that up with this mounting point right there. So let's go ahead and install that. And it's nice that, you know, the small rig includes this uh, this little flat Phillips style flathead uh, screwdriver or whatever you want to call this, this piece here. It's nice that they include it with this and just put it in there and, and this is magnetic. Now if you have a larger lens such as uh, I have right here, this is the Sony uh, this is a G series E mount lens right here. This is a larger lens as far as installation. If um, you want to put this on the ZV E10, if you want to put this small rig cage on there, you're going to have to take this lens off if you have it already on the ZV E10. I didn't have to take it off. I didn't have to take the um, cage off. I didn't have to take the lens off to install this cage on here because uh, this is a small lens. But if you have this on there, you're going to have, if you have this lens on the ZV-E10, you're going to have to take it off before you install this cage. But overall, this cage, full cage, and if you want to open this, no problem. You still have uh, access 
to whoa popped out of there you still have access uh easy access to your battery and sd card sd card compartment no problem at all let me put that back in there matter of fact slide that back in there no problem and as far as your ports here on the side no problem at all accessing your different ports headphone jack usb type c and uh your microphone jack no problem you still have uh easy access to all of your ports um, and as far as the screen the flippy screen no problem The cage does not interfere at all. The cage doesn't interfere with your screen at all. Show that again. No problem at all. Uh, you can see the top there. Uh, you've got an on and off button right here. Well, not button, the on and off uh, words right here because as you can see once you put the cage on it kind of blocks it does block the uh, the words of on and off that are actually on the ZVE 10 I don't know if you can see them see them under there and that but anyway uh, very nice and your camera hooks you can still have access to them if you want to put a uh, neck strap on here you can still get there and uh you know pretty nice if you uh want to mount your camera for these uh you know the, talking about these uh these mounts on the side here if you want to mount your camera vertically like that you know you can mount it on a tripod with those mounting points and this uh arca swiss plate down here cold shoe very very nice very nice. If you're interested in uh, picking this uh, cage up, I'll go ahead and leave uh, a link in the description so you, so you can go ahead and get it. Uh, the weight on this is not bad either. Uh, I like a little bit of, of additional weight because it adds uh, extra stability to the, uh, as far as uh, stabilization on this ZV-E10. So, uh, that's pretty nice. Well, this has been a look at the small rig full cage for the Sony ZV-E10. Uh, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video and you got something out of it, if it helped you out, smash that like button. And until the next video, see you then.